Weavers. All right. So, without having an island here, look at the cost. <laughs> without having the island, I can't cast these. We have a bobble, two kind of redundant, redundant threats. So I think we need to send this one back. If that was a snow-covered island, maybe I'd consider it. Now this is a funny hand because we happen to have two of the same Tron land, even though we only have two of each. Uh, we've got a PO. We have an inactive Mox Oval as of right now. But if we find an additional artifact, it's on. And then we could maybe turn three in Urza. Hmm. I think I could keep this and have to put back one of the towers. And I'm on two lands. Kind of not doing anything. I don't think I want to put these back, though. I think I have to keep the engineered explosives, and I don't really want to put back either of these four drops, but maybe I'm supposed to. Maybe one of these is supposed to go back. Put back Urza. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, now, that, now, now looking it over, it looks like, you know, we can maybe then just find another Urza. We'll keep this one. I would have, I would have said put back the PO, but, but it, I guess, I guess that totally, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, we're just gonna go... Tron Land Go. Tron Land Go. Inspiration. Four mana. Draw two. That's pretty good. Inspiration. Win the game. Easy. Urza's Tower. Pass. Because maybe we draw Urza's Mine into Power Plant. You know? Maybe. Maybe. Into Karn. And now they're going to think, oh man, they're playing Tron. Great. Ooh, Psy's actually a sweet one. Psy sick. What a sick Psy. Uh, so now that I drew Psy, I don't have to worry about playing Saheeli if I draw her. So I don't have to play this island. I could play another tower to kind of keep up what I'm playing. Also, they played a Temple of Malice. So they're playing like Gorios, and I guess I'm just going to die. So they don't have Faithful Suiting anymore. So what plays Temple of Malice? Is it still Gorios? It's definitely still Gorios. Lazy, thank you for the, the one year. Appreciate that. Definitely looks like a Gorios deck. Uh, oh, and I actually did draw the Sahili. Um, so I think I just, uh, just, just do this. Possibly die next turn, but we're going to get a couple of Thopters. I think, we, uh, I think we're just going to play this on zero as well. Get another Thopter. Uh, activated our Mox Opal, which is pretty sweet. And we'll say go. And then they're, yeah, I guess they're going to Ilharg us? Maybe. Maybe that's what's about to happen. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Lazy sees PO and is happy. Oh, I'm glad. Whoa! Whoa! Witch Claw. Remove a wish counter. Tutor a card, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library, and opponent gains control. Activate this ability only during your turn. But you're not getting another turn, opponent. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. This is uh, non-token permanence we pick up. Non-token permanence. Draw a card for each. This makes me think I'm definitely dead next turn. <laughs> uh, that that I, I am almost certainly dead next turn. Gonna get like Ilharg, Emrakul, dead or something. So I probably want to leave back a blocker. Maybe just play... PO main phase. PK freezing with the sub definitely dead. <laughs> definitely dead. That's a that's a good sub. Uh alright. Let's just draw two. I, I like want to pick up the side now. I guess just draw these two. Kind of a kind of a stinker. What did I draw? Nothing? Alright. 
Uh, let's attack for three, and then replay all of these. Well, not replay, but... Thopter. Wait. There's no way I can put this on two and blow it up. I need four mana. I only have enough. I have two to play it, but I can't then blow it up. I'm wondering, because that would be sick. That'd be pretty good, but I but I cannot do that. So I'm thinking, I'm supposed to not even play this potentially. Yeah, that was a hot divination for four mana. You drew the right to get punched by a pig. <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right, all right, all right. I'm playing slow because I'm trying to think if there's something I can do differently, but I guess I, I guess I keep this. It only costs three. You picked it. That's true. That's true. That's, that is technically true. Something I picked up. Yep, 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 yep. Man, opponents got me scared over here. Look at this swamp. This card's spooky. They conceded? <laughs> what? They conceded? Why are they conceding? They've got claw in play and all this mana. What? <laughs> Why? I don't know. I have no idea. Literally no idea what just happened. But I probably want these, right? Like, I, I definitely want Rebuke. I definitely want Rebuke. I guess I don't want Mystical Dispute, because that's three mana. I definitely want Rebuke. In. We take it. We take those wins. <laughs> Opponent playing spells, puts a Demonic Tutor in play, and then concedes with five, six cards in hand, even. We take those. All right. <laughs> rebukes come in so I can interact with whatever they're doing uh, probably trim the gigantic Karns because I probably want to be nice and low to the ground what is this deck uh, Karn Tribal Karn Tribal or what is the opponent's deck get pranked get pranked what an absolute pranking Pithing Needle is probably pretty good Bridge is probably pretty good. But I, I just leave that in there to find with Karn, I guess. Like, are they still... Are they just Pig because they lost Faithless Looting? So are they not a Gorios deck? Should I respect the Graveyard? Do they Are they still trying to, like, Collective Brutality to pitch things or something? Yeah, this is a lower deck. Uh, this is actually a lower deck. <laughs> a an accurate lore deck we have Urza's uh, lands plus Urza and his friend Karn if you play word this isn't Wurza this is not Wurza there's an Ur there's an Urza there's no Wur there, there's not a single not a single one in this deck oh, man I don't even know what they're playing dude yeah, it's got Urza's Factory. This is a lore deck, dude. Whatever, I'll just do this. Also, play Urza. I can't, I can't. Then O-Kings is going to take all his money back, and I need that money. <laughs> I can't have him take all his money back. What do, what do I look like? Oh, I'm going to keep his hand. Point him all against a five. We win. They're just going to concede. For sure. Opponent's the conceding type, you know? Thoughtsies. Are you going to take my Karn? Big whoop. Big whoop. For some reason... Seamless sent to conceal order. So I have a chicken sandwich. Two order of fries. Biscuits and a burger coming. What? <laughs> Wait, what's Seamless. 
<laughs> you just like you're just getting all this food do you have to pay for it like is this is this food you you ordered or is it like i mean i know you said you didn't intentionally order it but is it like taking money from you is that like a delivery service or something i kind of want to save these now that i've got this sahili you know i kind of want to save it i'm just gonna save it dude a thought sees what is, what is this pioneer Thought sees. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. I'm getting pigged next turn. <laughs> guaranteed. This is gonna be a guaranteed pigging next turn. I don't think I. I don't think I overflowing chalice. I think I just astrolabe here. Ever flowing, whatever. <laughs> this is about to be a pigging. That's legal and pioneer. That's true, and so is the pig. Oh. Okay, we do want to respect. Whoa. 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 Why not both? I can't do both, right? Because I'd have to kick this, but then I wouldn't have the snow mana for this. Oh, I would, damn it! <laughs> yeah, I guess I could have, but... I don't really need the mana ramp, I feel like. I feel like I, um... I forget when you cycle through an astrolabe, it turns it into snow mana. I feel like I just want to get a bunch of bodies on board. Like, just goes to Healy, zero, zero. Crack this on their turn. Mismatch snow basics? Yeah. That's for the tilt factor. Sometimes you just gotta tilt a fool. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta tilt a fool. Alright. We do this. On opponent's upkeep... I'm going to look at what they draw. How about that? Let's see what you're drawing. Bloodstained Mire. <laughs> laughable. A laughable draw. Look at that collection of islands. <laughs> I love, uh, I love this art. It's so pretty. Oh, Jesus. And we've won the match. What a beautiful start to modern. They put a grizzle brand into the graveyard. They've conceded. This opponent is is wild. Wild with the concession button. <laughs> they, they don't care about anything. <laughs> they, they do not care about a damn thing. <laughs> They'll just concede left and right. <laughs> they got no time. Concession, 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 concession. Easy. <laughs> Urza. Yeah, we are playing Urza. We're playing Urza, but we're not playing, like, we're not playing Urza. We're playing Urza if Urza were to make a deck in Magic. Of course he'd play himself, and of course he'd play every copy of Karn that is legal in the format. And of course he would play Urza's Tower, Power Plant, Mine, and Factory. Mirrored and Besieged. This is a flavor deck. Alright? This is, this is lore deck. Oh, we're keeping this hand. Sicko hand. But would he play Mishra's Bobble? Would he play Mishra's Bobble? See, that's a tricky one. Maybe he would to like and would he play Arkham's Astrolabe? These are deep questions. I'm gonna chill on that bobble. And why don't we play Mishra? I don't think he would play Mishra, but I think he might take his bobble and play his bobble. As like a like a haha, -ha, you know? Like a got your bobble kind of thing, you know? Maybe he would. As a as a got your bobble. I <laughs> got the next deck with the sideboard. It's not the next deck, Lazy. You're not just choosing the next deck. Arkham is mentioned in Astrolabe. In Mishra's Bobble. Is it really? Oh. Arkham is a... Opponent has conceded the game! What is happening? Why is everyone just conceding? 
<laughs> what is going on? Is this what modern is now? Like, if you don't just kill somebody on turn one, you just concede? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? Why is everyone just conceding to islands? <laughs> like, I'm not even doing anything. All right, all right, all right. Hear me out. Boom. What do we think about this? What do we think about this? They're a hundred percent Neo brand. You think they're Neo brand, or you think they were just some deck that kept that and needed that as their land drops? But who could get by with like a one lander? You know, Neo brand. You paid them to scoop. <laughs> Watch me five zero with a pioneer deck in modern. What? What? Welcome to the Twilight Zone. <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like. I'm gonna put these cards in the board again. Um, and I'm gonna bring in just like a bunch of counter spells, and maybe like an engineered explosive comes out. I'm banned from getting rid of Mirrodin's Besiege. I, I literally can't take that card out. Pithing Needle. I can name. Grizzlebrand, I guess. That doesn't seem very good. Oh, with a Pioneer deck in Modern. Oh, I totally, like, didn't read. I thought you were saying just, like, hey, watch me 5-0 with a Pioneer deck. And I was like, all right. How am I going to watch you? We got to make two more cuts here. I don't have any more, like, meme cards to cut, necessarily. No more, no more meme cuts. Spellbomb to bounce a Grizzlebrand is kind of funny, but they draw a bunch of cards. But it's still kind of funny, right? I don't know, maybe just get rid of, like, Witching Well or something. Trim, like, an Urza. Trim a Witching Well. That card's really good, though. Trim a, trim a big Urza. Whatever. That looks fine. I just want to bring in counter spells. That would kind of make sense if they would scoop right there that it would be something like Neo Brand. No one's going to guess our deck, though. Oh, oh, look at these Tron lands, dude. We're going to confuse the crap out of them when we play Tron lands. Oh, and I have the Mystical Dispute that I can't cast? Oh, baby. What's up, D20? Ooh. Wow. Astro, that is a... Uh, they've mulliganed to five. It's definitely Neo Brand. It's definitely... Um, it's definitely Neo Brand. That is, a, that is a deep... That is a deep comment you just made. Yep. We knew it. We knew it. All right. Give me a zero mana artifact off the top. Or a blue land. I'll take blue land. I'll take blue land. We're leading on that so I can dispute this uh, Neo form. I don't need to bob. I'm not trying to bob. Bob L. Would you take Pioneer donation for a large number of American greenbacks? Oh, there's actually a new donation policy. Came up with a new donation policy. Oh, 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 we were wrong. It's not. It's apparently Titan. It's apparently Amulet Titan. We were wrong. Hey, thanks, Lazy. Appreciate that. Weird. Amulet Titan. Weird. Only three cards in hand. Okay, okay. Scary. Oh, I have Tron. Oh, man, I wish I just played a Tron land instead. I just have Tron? <laughs> There's only two of each. There's only two of each, and I just have Tron? Ooh, that means, like, in a couple turns, I can just, like karn and go do a thing you know i can just like karn go get bridge play all these zero drops golden so what's the new policy okay 
So, trying to make streaming like a like a legitimate job thing. I I, I brought my hours at work way down so I could stream more and whatnot. Um, so the cost of a league has gone up a little bit. Okay. So what it's going to be, and it also now there's an incentive for being a sub. So it's twenty dollars for a league, but for subs it's fifteen. I think that's going to be the new policy. I'm adopting that. I think Fluffy's doing it as well. That's going to be like our thing. So if you're a sub, fifteen for a league. That way, that way, if I'm playing a league, if before it was ten dollars, right? And if I do that, then if I don't prize that league. Goodbye that ten dollars, right? But now, if I don't prize that league, I still have five dollars <laughs> for sandwiches. You know, those are good. Uh, 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 a soda pop. You know, food. Uh, and then, and then a couple of people when they when they've been donating, they've been do donating more than that. Those are just like appreciated tips over the cost of. So if I donate fifteen now, would you do the league after this one? The other, the other stipulation to it is you got to share. You gotta share the uh, just share the deck list first, because above all is still gonna be quality of stream. So there's still certain decks that I don't think we should play on stream. What I don't understand is this just greed taking over? No, this is me trying to literally like make this my job all right so we've got Tron if we would like we have Tron if we would like they have four cards in hand what could I go get oh my god I could go get damping sphere isn't that busted against this deck and I could still have dispute up He's going to forget about all his friends. What? No. I'm not becoming... What? No. No, no. Nay. Nay, nay. This is not a thing. Exactly, Medic. Yeah, it's like, usually leagues are about two hours, three hours sometimes. You know, <laughs> like $15, it's like, it's like, it's getting like five bucks an hour. <laughs> All right. Um, let me think. If we get Damping Sphere right here, they probably brought in some form of artifact hate, right? So we've got seven mana to work with. I'd kind of lose off on one mana. Alright, I think I'm carding. I think I'm carding. It's actually just cheap labor. Alright, alright. And he only has two mana up, so if he has like a pack to negate. Well, he couldn't really pack, I guess he would just lose. Disdainful Stroke. Mystical Dispute. Concede match. Concede match to Karn. No, okay. Okay. Karn resolve. Okay. Okay. Can he play Titan next turn? Probably, yes. Probably, yes. So, let's consider what we can do. He can't tighten if he doesn't have a removal spell, and I get Damping Sphere. 
then he will not be able to. trying to think if there's anything better I could do. I could go grab liquid metal coating. I'm trying to think if there's a way. So next turn I have 9, 10, 10 mana. 11 mana. Which means I could Urza and Mycosynthlatus with a Damping Sphere in play. But they're going to hit, they're going to hit him here. And then I couldn't down tick. So I'd have to take a turn to up tick. I still think this is fine. All right, so let's go grab, let's go grab Damping Sphere. That is very good against their deck. Wait, wait, wait. Do I want to play one of these first though? Yes. Let's cast these now. And then cast this. Now this is okay. And now say go. Because we're gonna have Dambix here, let's get our zero drops in play. Which I'll generate mana to. And then what I can do is next turn play Urza. Uptick Karn. Because they're gonna hit Karn for I assume one here. And then we can uptick Karn, pass, and then down tick Karn. Get Lattice. This card does is a is a good hosing for sure. It's a good hosing. Turns off their bounce land. Turns them into wastes. Okay. Uh, I'll resend the list in chat after this game. Oh, did you send the list? Oh, you did. Thirty dollars. Oh my god, I'll definitely play that deck. That has four abrupt decays in it. And four hour of promises. <laughs> and Oko's. I'm down. <laughs> that, that deck looks fun. Sultai, Sultai, Field of the Dead deck. I'm into it. I think I turned on the stream while he was playing that. Because I remember... Maybe I was doing something else and I had it on the background. Because I remember him, somebody, him like answering a question about... Somebody comparing Bant to uh, to that Bant Assault Eye or something. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. All right, so let's get Urza on. Yeah, that's not very good. Uh, let's get Urza on the field. <laughs> Damping Sphere. Damping Sphere turns off my Tron Lands too, doesn't it? It, it sure does. It sure does. Oh, it sure does. <laughs> uh, Alright, and we'll play this island. And then we could PO on their turn if we'd like. And then we'll uptick. And, oh, I guess I can just kill this. All right, cool, 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 cool. And then we'll send back. And I can use Urza to tap these and like pick up a couple of things, maybe. And then lattice lock them next turn. He's got one mana. One colorless mana. Ooh, is he tightening? Maybe. This looks like a titan. Tightening the hard way. So if he tightens here. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. He probably can't haste it. And then I can probably get the bridge then we take off a couple turns and he's conceded and we're 2-0 fantastic Woo 
And a penny. And a penny. Well, thank you very much. $30, I'm a madman. Look at that, we're 2-0. Here's the list. Feel free to tweak the deck as you like. I mess around with it a bit. I have no clue uh, if I made it any better. I likely did not. <laughs> All right. We'll play that next. So I think people will like that deck. That's a cool one. Uh, we're 2-0 right now. This is what we're going to play next. We're going to play Oko, Narset, Hour of Promise, Field of the Dead, Gyre Reach Sanitarium is an alternative win con, which is really nice. That's a hot deck. That's a hot deck. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, it doesn't feel like an Oko deck. I mean, it's got blue and green lands in it, so like you know, you probably want to put them in there. Two two O to concessions. I like it. I know that's like that's just like the life, right? You enter and people are just like, nah, you win. <laughs> you get this one. All right, what have we got? A lot of zero drops. We're on the play. We've got some redraws. Interesting. An interesting hand. An interesting hand. Yeah, we'll we'll take the list and, and tweak it a little bit. I just think we forgot about damping. Opponent forgot about EE. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, they they were like, oh yeah, the EE doesn't actually. <laughs> they they tried to EE a damping sphere, but like Karn's in play. It still makes sense to like play it that turn though, because they do have a thing attacking Karn. So like, you know, maybe if they are able to get rid of him and then it answers the damping the damping sphere. So use your mana to do that. Um. Keep and go ham. All right. I think I only sack one Misha's. Oh my god, opponent has mulligan to five. What is going on in this format? Everyone's just mulling to nothing and conceding. <laughs> hey, what's up, Sherlock? I didn't see you uh, came in. Oh, I'm excited to play that field deck, or that hour. Well, I guess it's a field deck, too. These field decks feel really strong in, in uh, Pioneer, I gotta say. All right, so let's play everything. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about this bobble. I'm just gonna play it all. Let's say go. And now I'm thought seize proof, you know? Now they can't even thought seize me. And then I'm gonna look at their draw step. I could look at my draw step and then determine if I actually want to do two of these because my draw step's gonna be bad. Maybe I just look at mine. Uh, not only did you not see me come in, I'm also behind you. Don't lie to me. Uh, I think it... I kind of want to look at my draw step. Is that crazy? Maybe that's crazy. I'm going to let them draw a card. Maybe that's crazy. Well, how am I interacting with them? I'm not. I just want to see if I need to crack another, maybe. Like, the, like seeing my draw step means... I mean, I like I'll know if there's a... I don't know, man. Maybe that doesn't make sense. Horizon Canopy. Devoted Druid off a of Simeon Spirit Guide. Whoa. Whoa. Alright. Can I get a Pithing Needle? Let's look at my draw. Okay, we're drawing another bobble, so... I guess then I should have just put it on them. There's no point to target me again. <laughs> draw. 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 Whoa. Whoa. That's a Tron land. Draw. Whoa. That's good against Walking Ballista. Okay. Okay. Tron land. Bobble. We're gonna look at their draw. And hope that we're not dead. But Karn is a Karn is a spicy draw. We are dead next turn. You're dead next turn. Uh, opponent is drawing. Not a vizier. An eternal witness. Okay. A 
Okay. Infinite mana. Infinite mana. And am I am I dead on turn two? This, by the way, is why we've taken this format and said no. Garbage. Blech. You know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? Uh, did you check out the mystery boosters? Seems like a bunch of commander reprints. Wizards is looking just to... Yeah, it, it, I found like something on Reddit, which was like a... Uh, I think it was like a random... A random generator for what those packs can look like. And they had like the playtest cards in them or something. It seemed kind of dumb. Seemed seemed kind of dumb. That's all I'm saying. That was a nice uh, mall to five. Uh, I guess rebukes again, right? Rebukes just seem just seem dece. Keep taking out these big boy cards. Do you play commander anymore? No. But I have started to rebuild or build for the first time this commander deck. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the mic there. That had to be annoying. Um, which is knights. Hey, thanks for the uh, thanks for the Twitch Prime. So no, but I've started to build this knight deck. Um, it's uh, uh, what's your name? Ariel. It's black white knights. Casually trying to deafen us. I'm trying to. This is a good card in this matchup. Just a witching well out. She just seemed really cool. If you wanted, uh, if you want slow games, couldn't you just play standard? No, no, no. That's why I'm playing Pioneer because it feels like modern at a real, at a at a reasonable pace. Feels like modern, slowed to a reasonable pace. Feels a lot more like modern than it does like standard. A whole lot more like modern. Hmm. Ooh. I like this hand. I think I put back P.O. I think I put back P.O. over the Urza with this hand, right? Seems alright. Feels nothing like modern. I disagree. It feels like modern without the garbage I hate in modern. Exactly, combo decks. <laughs> feels like modern without the combo. Trash. That, that That's the thing that makes modern so fast though right it's almost all combo decks that kill you super super fast because to kill you so fast you need to be assembling a combo like our opponents or storm or neo brand or any of those so that's what standard is no no i don't think so i don't think so standard feels there's standard still like so much more confined than this format the card pool is like way large enough for there to just exist like way cooler strategies than in standard well some of us enjoy playing com i'm not look hey you're allowed to enjoy playing combo i'm saying that's why i am frustrated with modern and haven't enjoyed playing modern lately you are you are more than well this is an opinion thing i personally dislike playing against combo decks that's fine you're you're more than welcome to enjoy it i'm not saying you have to play pioneer To me, that format's just been, like, incredibly open. I'm seeing just, like, new decks every single day. I know it's a new format, and that's going to be the case. But new decks every single day. Um, just it's, just it's just a sweet format, man. Just having fun with it. But definitely uh, to each their own, you know? Let's see we draw off this. Oh, okay. Well, now I'm going to cast all these and have Metallic Rebuke up on on turn one. Did O-King say some crazy stuff? Why did he get timed out? I didn't even see what he said. I saw him check what Fleece Main Lion did. Yeah, exactly. If they go all in on a Devoted Druid, boom. Got him. Combo free seems like trouble. 
for the format. No, I I don't know. I, I think generally combo is the uh, the more trouble causing archetype. There we go. Rebuked. I think most whenever there's an issue it's usually because of combo. Uh, let's multi kicker this. You may pay two. So I want a multi kicker one. Okay, so the next turn we can play Urza. Ooh, they don't have another land. All right. Well, that was a good rebuke. Uh, yeah, let's play an Urza. Big ol' Urza, and we'll go tap, 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 one, two, three, bam, go. This looks good, this looks good. We have no cards in hand, but uh, really nice board state. Opponent's been missing their land drops. Oh. What is this? Dismember? Simeon? Another Simeon, another Devoted Druid. So we gotta find something now. We likely die if they untap. That's how this works. We have no cards in hand. What do we find? Big draw. That's a big draw! That is a big draw. Uh, okay, that is a big draw. I think I just throw it back right now. I lose a damage off this, but I, this gets to get through, so. We'll draw a card. Make a spell, make a copy of the spell bomb, sack the copy! Oh, that's way cooler. He would never beat that. That would have been way better. And I should have hit him for a thousand there. And I should have hit him for a thousand, and I should have spin it, spun Urza. I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. I'm just attacking my opponent. I'm just attacking my opponent. I missed all kinds of opportunities. Could have made something into. Uh, could have made something into this. Could have. Could have spun Urza. But it's tap the bomb. Sack the bomb. Let's sack the bomb. Tap the bomb. Attack first. You want? Oh, and I could have tapped. Oh man, there's so many lines there. That turn was crazy. So I could have tapped this to pay for itself, instead of tapping this. Okay. First day on the Urza. And I don't activate there because it's it's still restricted to, uh, what's it called? Timing constrictions, right? All right, so let's go. Hold on. Straw card. Draw a card for free. Draw a card for free. Make our guy bigger for free. Okay. Draw a card for free. Make our guy bigger for fee. For fee. Free. Okay, opponent can see it. So I messed that turn up. So what we could have done that turn was I could have made... So target artifact you control becomes a copy of another target artifact or creature you control. So I could have made a copy. I could have taken a servo and made that a copy of Aether Spellbomb. Another target artifact or creature you control. And bounced, sacked that, and then had the original. And then they'd be stuck behind this. Every turn I could just turn a servo and bounce. That would have been really good. They wouldn't have been able to get out from under that. Um, and then when I went through the main phase, I should have cycled through or used Urza, tapped tapped the five artifacts I had. What is this trash? <laughs> Hi, Brian. I don't know, man. We're just we're just we're just saying hi to modern. We're just saying hi to modern. That's all, man. Just giving it a, a little quick. Hello. A quick hello. 
Uh, I don't know if I love this hand. The Mox Amber's like not great. Make a clone of your Karnstruct with Saheeli and attack for a bazillion. That was the other option, yeah. I should have done something. I should have used Saheeli. You have too much food. It's better than not enough food. Brian, look away. It even contains Tron lands. <laughs> yeah, it does. What, are you having fun? I'm having fun tonight, yeah. This has been fun so far. This has been a fun one so far. Opponents just keep, like, conceding to us for some reason. <laughs> turn, uh, game, match three we're playing against uh, Devoted Druid. They killed us on turn two last game, or the game before, game one. Um, with a turn two 2020 walking ballista. Uh, no lands, but a turn one rebuke? <laughs> no lands, but I can go for zero, this, this. And then have rebuke on turn one. <laughs> That's, uh... And then it also has spell bomb. I'm on the draw. I think for, like, the absolute memeage that this is. Yeah, I think you're right, Pike. I think we keep this for the absolute memeage. And then, like, they go turn one stony silence. And I... I... am very upset. They've played a chalice for zero. <laughs> and we pick them up. And we pick them up and go home. And there's the game. And it's... And, what? They had them both. Watch. Watch. Alright. Oh, and we lost on turn one. Fantastic. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, had we been on the play, we would have been like... Metallic Rebuke, and they would have been like, ah, Devoted Druid, kill you. So even had we been on the play, I probably would have ended up rebuking that, that, uh, that Chalice. Maybe I, maybe I wouldn't, wouldn't have, maybe I shouldn't have done that, though, because I already had all my zero drops down from my hand, so maybe I wouldn't have done it, I don't know, had we thought about it. Are there any taking turns? Listen, I don't think there's enough taking turns spells. It, you could consider the Bant Nexus deck a taking turns deck. Um, because it's ultimately trying to cast Nexus over and over again. Uh, yeah, that's a taking turns deck. Yeah, yeah, Bant Nexus. Or, or Blue-Green Nexus. Simic Nexus, whatever. It's the um, Reclamation deck. Uh, this is why Bethany should be playing this. Let a real artifact player take the wheel. Yeah, but she's not an she's an aggro player is the thing. Okay. I'm glad you're having fun while attempting to ruin others modern experience. What am I trying to ruin? Brian, let me take you down a trip of what this deck actually is. If you if you take a, a close look, you'll notice this is an Urza lore theme deck. We have Urza's factory, his mine, his power plant. His friend Karn in all of his different variations. His brother's bobble. His friend's astrolabe. I don't know what his relationship to Arkham is, but um, the many of the card choices and decisions that were made here uh, were made. Yeah, whatever. We've got cards and a redraw. Were made based on uh, lore decisions. Who's your favorite caster? What? And what do you mean? What is the, what is the context? MTG caster. So like, uh, would that be like, like the commentators for like events? Yeah, Snap. Snap's my favorite caster. Maybe I'm not supposed to sack that there. That's actually maybe a bad sack. Stinky imp. Oh, dredge, dude. Commentator caster. Um, who do I enjoy listening to the most? 
I like. Enjoy the most. I like Patrick Sullivan and, and Cedric Phillips from Star City. I just like the stuff they say. <laughs> the stuff they say. Um. Yeah, I like them a lot. I like them a lot. Oh, they have six. They have six, dude. <laughs> Bloodstained Mire. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> uh, for people that are like specifically casters, those two. Yeah, I like uh, I like when like Reed Duke's in the booth. Oh yeah, Luis. LSV is always always really good. Yeah, it was LSV and Marshall. That that is a really good combo. Oh man, we just cheesed him. That was fantastic. An absolute cheesing. An absolute cheesing. Too bad I can't like capitalize it by casting a spell, you know. Day nine is good too. I do. Yeah, he's he's pretty good. I like him just for his like Twitch content. Yeah, Cedric Phillips is probably the best one though. I I, I like him a lot. I don't know. There's a lot of good options. I was at an event and bumped into Cedric Phillips and like apologized. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, man, whatever. But I didn't like get a good look at him. My friend was just like, dude, you just bumped into Cedric Phillips. And I was like, no, I didn't. He's like, yeah, you did. And I was like, oh, I love that guy. I was like, yeah, well, you just like pushed him. And I was like, oh, no. And I felt bad. I was at a I was at a Star City event. <laughs> I guess it would make sense if that'd be at a Star City event. That's where he would be. Remember when Day Nine was with StarCraft? No, I watched him from just like Hearthstone. All right, so if we can get. card's really cool. Alright, we're gonna... He doesn't have a Complagrade yet. I'm gonna go with an Urza here. And Urza's good at powering out Karn as well, isn't he? Four, five, six... Seven. Now I just, like, have big Karn next turn if I wanted to. Like, that's not very good against Dredge, but, like, I do have it. It's kind of cool. It's actually like not that bad against Dredge. It's not very good. It's not that bad. This person will never have six again. I know after that. Too bad we couldn't catch him with a hand that was just like all Bloodstained Myers, you know? Merchant of the Veil. Man, I've been out of modern for so long. Dredge, Dredge since they lost uh, Faithless Looting. Interesting. Merchant of the Veil. That's really interesting. It's a good card. Life from the Loom. Still no Complagrade in the bin. They don't care at all. That's depressing. Yeah, Dredge, Dredge does not die is the thing. It just has so many pieces. Like, there's just so many things. They'd have to just be like... They'd have to ban... Well, Loam would be a big hit. <laughs> Loam would be a pretty big hit, I guess. 
Oh, I mean, of course it cares about it, but but he more meant that they they still had plenty of options despite that banning. Hey, what's up, Josh? Yeah, we could Karn grab Relic for sure. And that is an option. Seems like a pretty easy block there. Actually, could I go... I could go Karn... Hmm. I could go Karn... Grab and play Bridge? But that, mm, that doesn't look good. It doesn't look too good. They cast the loam. I think all the dredgers are actually gone. Oh, I'm in my upkeep. I haven't even drawn a card yet. Ooh. Engineered is interesting. Oh, but I can't engineer. I can only engineer it for one. Can't make another source of mana. Another colored source of mana. So, yeah, I think we still want to go small Karn here, and then and then probably just uh, grab a Relic. Then we're going to lose the Karn. Whereas, like, alternatively, I could go grab Bridge, and then maybe I could get it to the point where Bridge actually functions. Because I'd only have two cards in hand, so it holds back the, the three-powered dude in... Urza does a good job at least dealing with these for now. And I can actually cast Big Karn next turn or Mirrodin Besieged. This is interesting. I think there's actually like choice here with what I get. Because I'm worried if I get Relic, like, Karn does just die. But I know if I go for Bridge, they still kill me through Conflagrate in the meantime. But maybe it buys me enough time to get them with Lattice, eventually. If I get Bridge down, play this big thing, play this big thing. I feel like I'm supposed to use this first one to get Bridge. Maybe this is wrong. But I can get Bridge, play Bridge, hold back Amalgam... Ooh, ooh, I can hold back, like, everything, too, actually. So if I get bridge here, and I play this for zero, you eventually die to Creeping Chills? Do I? At 15? They've already, they've already done one. And then I can go activate, tap, activate, tap, play bridge, and now both of these hold these off really well. We can just say go. Yep, I don't have enough to tap more things. So we could still lose the Karn, but um, I don't know. I, I think this is I think this is a reasonable move. And the next turn we could play big Karn if we wanted, or we could play a mirrored in besiege depending on what we draw. Heck, maybe we could play both. Five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Yeah, if I I mean I could potentially just play both. I'd have to tap this down, which I probably don't want to do, but. Oh, well, it wouldn't matter, though. It wouldn't matter because they wouldn't be able to attack with anything. Okay, we go to 12. So they have 6 damage more. Oh, and there's a Conflagrate. So that, that unfortunately, is, is likely just going to kill me here. They hit their Conflagrate. Um, if they don't go for it this turn, maybe it gives me an opportunity to get around it, but... So, yeah, the, the alternative line there was to go get Relic... But I think that loses to the board. Maybe both ways lose from the board. Maybe maybe we were just in a problem spot there. Maybe we were just in a problem spot. I'd buy it. I'd buy that we just weren't getting out of that anyways. Do they? Oh, <laughs> do they have another land to play, to then uh, conflagrate me? The answer is yes, because they just loaned. <laughs> So, hmm. 
<laughs> the turn one needle. Cheese in their bloodstain mire. Not good enough. Fortunately, not good enough. friend and I are supposed to get uh, breakfast tomorrow <laughs> and I just messaged him and said hey are we still on for breakfast tomorrow I said yeah hey are we still on for breakfast tomorrow and his response was could we actually push it back to Friday to which I responded that's tomorrow <laughs> so yeah if, if you would like to <laughs> Kind of what I was asking. Yeah, it, it, that, that's the thing. Like, I don't know, man. Like, modern, modern's cool. It's its own thing. It does kind of feel like maybe modern's the the new legacy kind of thing, you know. And pioneers the the new modern. A lot of lot of very 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 high power level decks in in modern that do that win boards very very quickly win games very very quickly and that can be our format for that you know mox opal equals problematic i mean you know mox opal is problematic dredge is a problematic strategy i don't know tron is a problematic strategy like everything's a problem everything's a problem just play standard no nah. <laughs> no the answer is not just play standard though because like I don't want my things to rotate out I do that's why I like pioneer bike okay so let's see what we draw big draw here big draw could play my whole hand okay can play my whole hand so I can go I kind of need to as well. I guess I technically don't. So I could go Karn, Exile, one of these, and then Relic, get rid of their thing, their graveyard. Hold on. This is this. Oh, wait. I can do both. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. This is ten mana. But if I do this first, then I get another mana here. I think I'm one mana short. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the guy I'd get off this would be eleven. But I need an additional one to crack. Yeah, that's a good way to put it, Brian. So I could go instead, just Karn, down tick here, Relic, pop, go to one. Or, play this for zero, play this, and just get rid of the card in there. No, because then I'm, I'm, too, I'm too scared to leave them with a graveyard this turn. So I think I have to get rid of this. Get rid of one of these. Get Relic, Crack Relic. Maybe there's a way I could have locked them out this game, this turn. I didn't I didn't even consider that. Maybe I could have done a lockout kind of turn. I think I just play this for zero.
draw a card. Being at two is fine here. They don't have a fetch. They can't get back their blood gas. We draw another Karn. Interesting. So say go. This deck is this deck is interesting, man. It's so weird having the Karn here. Like I was like, that makes no sense. We only have two of each of the Tron lands, but like Urza's so much ramp, like Karn's just kind of a cool payoff. I mean, probably not the optimal one, but but it's really cool. What are these different Karns I've got? So if I could go for a Lattice next turn, let's see, I have one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Let's see if they hit the Karn here or me. Assume they hit me, but if they don't, then I get rid of this. And then I Lattice them. And then they can't dredge anymore. Until they go to max hand size. But I can probably figure out a win before then. More, the most important decision is to simply play the overpowered deck or register Celestial Colonnade. Big truth. Big truth. Yeah, I think they're supposed to hit that, that Karn for sure. Then I'm going to uptick. Then I'm going to second big Karn in Lattice, I think. Casting the Merchant. Okay. Big, big true. Big true. Which you will. Alright, so let's go. Oh, I could exile a card out of my hand if I need to. Witching Well is a freebie. So let's play Witching Well. That's freebie. Alright, don't really need those. I think this turn. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can uptick on nothing. Doesn't matter. I can just play the other Karn. Play other Karn. Down tick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lattice. Turn off their mana. Buys us a million turns. Cause I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uptick this Karn. Get rid of the card out of their hand. And then I can down tick. They gave me to one, but then I can just down tick on this. Is this the Oblivion? It is the Skyrim soundtrack, but very close. So they're gonna haggle. Ooh, that's really good here. Wait, is it? No, it's not. Because you have to discard a card first. All right, I thought that was going to let them get a card in their graveyard. Uh, you may choose an artifact you own from outside the game. Okay. I'm going to get Mycos and Vladis. What an interesting game. This is, this is an interesting one, I got to say. Lattice. Now the only thing they can attack is the Narc Amoeba. They can't tap their lands. We've got a Karn going. Which is... Oh! And the Karn's gonna make it so they can never get to the point where they can't... Uh, where they can discard. So now they now I think we get them, right? They, they can never get to the point where they can discard. Because it's gonna keep eating cards out of their hand. I think this is just the lock now. They can hit this for one down to five and then I can exile it. Yeah, I think we got this. I gave him a good treat the other day. I got I got him these like homemade peanut butter dog cookie things. They really liked them. All right, I think we have maneuvered this game one into a victory. I believe we have one on board. 
Also, when did he become a 15? Oh, because everything became an artifact. I'm like, when did I get 15 artifacts in play? That's when. Yeah, we've definitely, I believe we have definitely won this game. I can't think of a scenario where we lose this now. They get me to one. It got me to one. So the main phase. Let's go ahead and exile this guy. Okay. Play this. Oh no. Can't. So I want to name Mirren. on your land kill your land okay probably activate Urza just need to not clock here cast that Get mirrors. Activate Urza. Cast Witching Well. I'm just going to say go here. I think I'm just going to win by getting rid of these and then getting rid of my bridge and attacking them for 20. So that, that seems like the smart way to not clock here. Just uptick, uptick, downtick, uptick, downtick, uh, then downtick on my bridge and kill them. Don't need to get fancy. Uptick. Might as well uptick on their lands. Play this. Get a guy. Keep one. Uh, we did all that, and I'm just going to send back. No reason to waste time with Urza. We have this game locked. Again, uptick, going to remove their blockers. Um, and then uh, and then kill them. Move their blockers, then remove my, my bridge. Didn't get rid of their land there, but whatever. Let's try to conserve clock. 
They're trying to waste it. We actually don't even need to get rid of the bridge. Their clock is, is only a minute ahead of mine, so. We'll have six, have six. My turn. Get rid of, where's my bridge? No, oh. get rid of bridge. And kill you. All right, game one against Dredge. Fantastic. Easy peasy. Wasn't even tricky. They got us to one life and we ended up getting the win there. Not bad, not bad. Uh, also, a little bit concerned about time. I know there's a big conversation going on in the in the chat right now. I can't exactly keep up with that and also play this game. So, just so you know. You guys can have your chat there. If you are somebody that is saying something in the chat that does not apply to the conversation that is having that you want me to see, make sure that you make sure that you just do an et evero so that it stands out to me so I can see it. Um, let's go down to Karn there, even though he was pretty reasonable that game. I think generally he's not going to be good in this matchup. Um, what is this BS you're playing? <laughs> it's uh, Urza theme deck. We've got uh, all of his lands and him and Karns. <laughs> it's just like a spicy Urza deck. Uh, let's see let's see i think needle's normally not very good against dredge right we like we happen to cheese in there but we definitely won't get that cheese again though you know what well it's not the worst but it's very easy that they would have two different oh okay well then continue bob Ooh, bolus i like that i like that i don't know maybe we'll leave a miser needle nah. Where's your Urza's armor? <laughs> Good point. You got me. You caught me. I don't have the Urza's armor. Opponent was salty. Let him be salty to the bolus. Let him be salty to the bolus. I think, like, naming a fetch isn't too bad, right? Because they do, like, no loam shenanigans and stuff with fetches. That's not too bad. Where's your caves of Koilos? Don't worry about it. I left it in my other Urza deck. Is Urza's armor legal in modern? Is it in like 8th or something? It's in one of the core sets. Alright, what have we got? Two of the same Tron lane. <laughs> I got very excited because I saw different art. Uh, We got like a PO kind of hand. Yeah, sure. Ruinous Blast is cool. Ooh, you know what that reminds me of? I got, um, somebody, I think it was, it was, uh, HLG, I think, or, well, Grayus now, um, sent me a link from, uh, from their stream where they, just because we're talking about, like, the legendary spells from Dominaria, um, Primeval's Glorious Rebirth out of the side from, uh, from the Jeskai Fires deck, and it brought back, like, 10 walkers and i was just kind of like ah oh, maybe i do want to put that card in the deck <laughs> like it was like the coolest primeval's glorious rebirth it was like multiple teferis like giant Sh chandra or something boluses all over the place it was crazy double stinkweed imp in a single hit that's illegal yeah, he had to, like, choose which Teferis he wanted to keep. Uh, alright, let's see. Do this. Yeah. Mox Opal. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. He has another Tron land, though. I feel like I'm not trying to crack that yet. I feel like I just need some time, which this deck's not going to give me. Maybe I shouldn't have even played it then. I'm going to have nightmares tonight, thanks. Yeah. Uh, actually, today I got stomped by Grixis Bolt. Oh, yeah, you were, you were saying that. 
Look, man. Sometimes, you know, sometimes a deck will just do its thing. You know? Sometimes you'll get Grixis. If you want to play Grixis in that format with, like, boluses and whatnot, you can, you can try to do it, man. Will it be your best choice? No. And that's kind of what I was talking about before of, like, you know, you have to figure out what you're trying to do. Are you trying to have fun? And do you find fun it's how you define fun too because if you just define fun as winning then then just play whatever you think the best deck is which is what like pike situation is you know you, you find out what you find fun and if that means winning you got to go for those strong strategies if that means playing the strategy you like then just do that if it means both that's where you run into some some trouble <laughs> and that that's where i land sometimes where it's like well i hate losing but I also like a very specific type of deck. M21 to Fairy Static. You think about casting a spell, you lose the game, the match, and get dropped from the tournament. <laughs> now that's my kind of Teferi. That's a good Teferi. If you even think about casting a spell, you're done. Game over. Banned. Ooh. Babel. A Babel. Babel, you say. Ooh. Okay. Big think. What do you mean, how am I 2 1? What's that supposed to mean? How'd I lose? I lost a devoted druid combo on turn two twice. Actually, one time I lost to it on turn one. With this pile? This deck's sick! I don't know what you're talking about. Now we're up a game. Against Dredge. We won game one against Dredge. This deck's clearly busted. But I hate Tron more. No. Wait, but I hate Tron more. What was the first message? Oh, fun is where I can... Get my LGS to ask, what am I doing? Yeah, that's fair, Zale. That's fair. However you define fun, that's what you gotta figure out. What you most enjoy in this game, and then run with it. When I get in my slumps with magic, it's always when I when I struggle and I and I don't just accept that like I just wanna play the deck that I wanna play, and I have to like kinda ease off on the you know, I'm I might not be undefeated if I'm gonna play this deck. Um When I, I don't know, I don't know. You get what I'm trying to say? You get what, like, I, I'm not doing a good job at articulating what I'm, like, trying to say here, but, like, I have found that I'm better off playing a deck that I'm going to enjoy playing, but that's not the case for everybody. For some people, it's, it makes a lot more sense to just play the thing you're going to, you're going to have the highest win percentages with, because what they enjoy most, most out of the game is, is winning, and that's totally fine. That's, that is me in a lot of case in a lot of cases it's not always me when i'm streaming i'd rather play something i enjoy playing playing in a big tournament i'm probably going to take whatever i think i have the best chance of winning with all right we're going to play that power plant we're going to we're going to get a little a little psi action going here then maybe a little po action then maybe a little uh both next turn you know what i mean I want to leave these baubles, I think. So go. We're on board. I'm at eight, and they have yet to put, like, a thing into play. They've just burned me out this whole time. So go. Man, if I could have found a relic that turn, forget about it. Forget about it. Amoeba. Oh, maybe they trim really low on the creep. Oh, no, 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 no. They do have a shenanigans there. I should pay attention to that. And an ancient grudge. Losing with the deck that you hate playing is the worst. That's true. That's true. If you're going to pick a deck you don't enjoy, and then you lose because there's no guarantee you're going to win, that is the worst. Get more burned out at things like Twiddlestorm at least Emery's Interactive Magic. I'd rather lose with a fun deck than play 
the solitaire best deck in the room. <laughs> FNM tomorrow is modern, and I want to play a meme. Snaws or turns? Turns for sure. Snaws is the rudest thing to do to people at an FNM. In my opinion, Snaws is the rudest thing to do to people. Meme on him with turns, man. What is snaws? Ad nauseum. Or uh, sad snauseum. Elsa, thank you for that. Uh, thank you for that twenty dollars. Did you have a uh, a deck you you'd like me to throw into the queue to get played? Appreciate that. The snaws. What snaws? Ad nauseum. Yeah. Alright. Easiest block of my life, by the way. BT dubs. Wait, why? I could just block here. This is just like a super free block. Do they have a. They've already played their land? Even easier block of my life? have a lot of time here so oh, I wish this was an Urza let's PO we want to PO using this let's go with this this I want to not use the blue mana I think play EE first good call good call EE first get our token I think not use our blue mana in case we draw a like an, the last Tron piece. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Kablamo. Holy crap. Do I have an Urza's Tower? No. Okay, okay. There's an Urza. There's a relic. This is modern right now. Ooh, but tapping these means I couldn't play my astrolabes again. Dummy. I didn't realize I already played my land for the turn. Thought I still had a land drop. So maybe I don't expose this. Maybe I shouldn't be playing this here to not expose it. Yeah, I beefed. I beefed. I don't have another mana. I shouldn't have played that there. Now it's exposed to removal. Who knows? Maybe I can just, like, kill him next turn. I don't know. If they can't kill me, maybe I just kill them. I've got Urza in my hand. I'm like a billion dudes. I shouldn't have played that, though. They're showing me, like, a bunch of ways to get rid of it. That was a goof. <laughs> Modern? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Not interested. Not interested. Yeah, that was a, that was that was weak. I shouldn't have played this out. I want to make sure I play this whenever I when I can activate it. It wasn't worth just an extra dude. This is a pretty intimidating board state though. If I do say so myself. They're going to dredge that shenanigans, I feel like. Oh, Ancient Grudge on the Relic. There it is. Yeah, I knew that was a mistake. They're doing that before dredging. Why? But why? In case I had, like, surprise mana. Okay, nothing too scary hitting the bin there. They picked up a loam. It lacks Pepe Jams. This one's going to go up on YouTube. Uh, so I wanted to be kind of chill with the music that we played so it didn't get locked out of any countries. But after this, uh, during League number two uh, that was donated for, uh, I don't know if the Saltai Rec deck, Polyvius, 
did you want that deck on YouTube? Or are you going to be here to watch that whole thing and, and don't mind if it's not on YouTube? It'll still be in, like, stream rewatch thing. Um, but if that one doesn't have to be on YouTube, we could potentially play some, some funk. If you know what I mean. Okay, creeping chills, bad news. Looks like they're going absolute ham this turn. They're actually almost clocking more than me. I was worried about time. They're actually way lower on time than me. That's crazy. They shouldn't have tried to clock me game one. <laughs> they should not have tried to do that game one, I guess. Cycling the Forgotten Cave. That's big game. That's big game. If Polyvius doesn't answer... Oh, he's here. Okay. Ideally, it'd be good if it's on YouTube. I might not be able to... Okay, yeah, yeah. No, no. Not a problem. Not a problem. I have no problem getting that one up on YouTube. I just wanted to check. We'll have a good... We'll have a good... We can do like a whole funk music stream maybe tomorrow. Block. Block. I think I just make a bunch of blocks. Cutting me off of a lot of mana, though. Probably don't block this guy. No, I probably block this guy. Whatever. I have a ton of mana, right? It's probably fine. I want to I pad my life total. Okay, here's my turn to do whatever I can do. Engineered explosives. All right. So I want an Urza. I need a snow land for the first one of these. So I can go play a snow land. No, I'd still have to play a land. Probably just going to have to play... My oh, no, no, no. Okay, so I can go blue. I can do like this to play Urza. And then this to do an Astrolabe. So let's play an Astrolabe. I need to, like, draw as many cards as I can to find a relic, I think. Let's do Urza. Now we have many manas, and since we have the first Astrolabe, we can tap one of these, filter it for snow mana, play an Astrolabe, and these are all free. I shouldn't have tapped the thing I can tap and draw a card, though, I guess. Tap this. This for blue, Astrolabe. Draw a card, Everflowing Chalice. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, let's just put these out and start activating Urza. Can get this uh, only on one. Could start drawing some cards here. Two, sack two artifacts, draw a card. I can't I can't set EE to two because I only have access to blue right now. Wait, hold on. Hold on. So I want to There's a relic. Okay, perfect, perfect. I'll just pop this right now. There's a PO. Okay. We 
haven't played our land yet. So land. Uh, is there some way I just or Karn? Is there some way I just kill him right now? How do I just make sure I don't die, Lattice? Just making sure I get like super lethal here. I know my time's a little bit low. That's probably good enough, right? Looks pretty good. Like a 37 37. I think I've got my angles covered here. Like, he can't cast spells, he can't activate this, he can't get cards into his graveyard. I have blockers for everything he has. And I've got like fat attacks. My only enemy is the two minutes on the clock, I think. Hopefully he just attacks these Narc Amoebas. Hello. What? No attack? Insane. He has to block one of them. Block them both. Probably could have just killed him there. I definitely could have just killed him there, but whatever. I'll just stand back. I know I have PO. I'm just worried about the minute on my clock. I don't think there's anything they can do to beat me here, and then I just attack them with all this. Yeah, full swing was lethal, because if I just did act with both of these, they, they, they would have just died. But. We did it! We 2 0 dredge, it looks like. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about that. Ready? I missed one. <laughs> Doctors. <laughs> All right. Not bad. Not bad. Right, Tiki. We all do. 
It's getting a little warm. My arms are like freezing, but my face is warm. All right, we got the match. Very cool. That was a long one, but game one was really tricky. We ended up winning with exactly one life, so that was a really, really close one. Um, Tiki stream? What do you mean Tiki stream? No. No Tiki stream tomorrow. We're three and one. Not bad. Happy birthday, but uh, no Tiki stream because you'll have me play some garbage. <laughs> you'll have me play some trash. Uh, Alright, we're three and one. Good league so far. We've got one more match to play. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Uh, thank you guys for joining me so far. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I know we, we haven't been playing a lot of modern lately. That's because Pioneer's just better. Just saying. Just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm only saying. I'm only saying that it's better because it is. Alright, I'll be right back. Is, uh, is Elsa here? I just realized Elsa donated and then I asked if they had a deck they wanted me to play and then I never saw a response in the chat. So if there was... Damn it, O oh Kings. <laughs> All right, Tiki. <laughs> All right. What does a Tiki stream entail? <laughs> now we got now we got to talk business. What does a Tiki stream entail? Got a little snack here from Bethany. What exactly is a Tiki day? Oh Kings, thank you. Thank you. Damn it. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness look what bethany made me well not just me she made them and gave me some but they're uh they're like blondie brownies so like chocolate chip brownies with m&ms in them and then like i think oreo bits too oh so good are we the baddies <laughs> <laughs> no bullets. No, they are not. <laughs> Pretty nice Tron hand we've got here. <laughs> What's funny though, last night, uh, Werefleet thought they were. <laughs> I offered him some and I was like, hey, want some of these brownies? And he was like, are they like. Uh, I was just like, no, they're, they're just, like, really good. It's just like a brownie, dude. It's like, no. No, no. Just brownie. Hey, MTG Genius, thank you for the follow. Mm. I really like chocolate chip cookies. They're very good in the shape of a brownie.
<laughs> Say yo. Serum doesn't give me enough information to know what I want to be doing with this pipping needle. So we're not going to do anything with that. Some islands. I wonder if I can keep an island here. Maybe bobble their draw step. Get a little more information. I don't have a mox opal yet. But maybe keep an island. So I could cast an Urza. I do need lands. Alright, I'll bottom one. Top one. You can play a bobble. Yeah, I think hit him with the hit him with the Mishra's bobble on the draw step. Get a better idea of what they're playing. Let's see what's going on over here. Polluted Delta. Ooh, now if they don't play it, I get him with the needle. They played it. Okay, okay. And I don't want to play it because I don't have enough information to know like what I would name, assuming they do crack the polluted delta. Looks like a pretty good PO. I like to confuse them here with the Tron land. I think I say go. Next turn, I can maybe needle something. Actually, maybe I should have kept the land. I do need the fourth mana. I'll stop eating the Cisper. I meant to take one bite, and then it was like delicious, so I just kept taking more bites. Lightning Bolt. Okay. Ooh, Tiki hasn't said what Tiki Day is yet. Oh, Tiki. What's Tiki Day? There he is. He's back. You have to give us more information on what Tiki Day is. Hmm. So they probably have Thing in the Ice in their deck. And then maybe Royal Scions or Jace the Mind Sculptor. Oh, it's four mana to do this? What the heck? Should be three mana. Probably just name some. I'm gonna PO pick it up anyways, right? So I just play this. I'll name Jace the Mind Sculptor. Looks like what their turn could be like curving into. Jace the Living Guild Pact. That's probably what they're gonna play. <laughs> or or maybe maybe that's maybe that's my day I'm confusing it with. Uh, <laughs> Dude, he stole my witching well. What the heck? Stole my witching well. That's absurd. Oh man, I'm gonna lose. Ooh, I'm gonna lose. Oh no. I've never Never thought about my, like, serum missions getting stolen. I lied. Again, I said I swear I'm going to stop eating it. I'm going to eat this last piece. Last one. It's gone forever. Don't even worry about it. Gen Acid. With the coolest way to enter a stream I've ever seen. In my entire life. That's a big draw. That's a big draw. If he goes to steal this one, I'm going to PO. In response. It's going to be sick. I got like 100 cards. You fat shaming me, dude? Dude, you fat shaming me? I wish I could pick that one up. Oh, now I like don't even want to pick this one up. No, I do.
We've assembled Tron. Big. Big if true, and is true, so big. Dude, the opponent is not going to expect this Karn liberated. You got more counter spells, though. I'm going to play Psy. Play Psy first. Can't play Karn after this, unfortunately, but. <gasps> we can if they let that resolve. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bolt, snap, bolt. Bolt, snap, bolt, my sigh, and then I go Karn liberated. Mm, no. No, he left open a key for mana. be messed up. I, I'm scared of cryptic command. I'm going to do this so they have to crack. Maybe I should have done this first so they had to crack the Scalding Tarn earlier. I don't want them to be able to loot Mystic Sanctuary. So now they can Mystic Sanctuary pick up Archmage's Charm. Hey, Werefleet, thanks for the Twitch Prime, man. <laughs> Who's playing Witching Wells now? Who's the Witching Weller? Who's the... Who's the Witch now? I'm gonna name Jace the Mind Sculptor again. I feel like that was a fine name. I'm gonna say go here. I wish I had chest to open up for you guys. I don't. I don't have anything to open for you guys. I got nothing. I don't know. He didn't answer. I heard forty dollars would involve. Oh yes, yes. Oh, did you ever end up playing that lands deck in Pioneer? I've played a couple. Wait, oh, what was it? Wait, wait. Did I miss a thing? Because there was it. Wasn't there like another? There was another lands deck. Was it this one? I played the Bant Field deck. What was this one? This is Grixis mid range. Jeskai fires. This is the one we're playing now. Which, which which lands deck? Remind me, Gen Acid. It got rid of a thing in the ice. I knew Royal Science might have been the might have been the move instead. I had a feeling. I shouldn't have gotten rid of that island either. They have two mana up. Am I just trying to slam Urza into the two mana? Because I really want the. Hmm. Two mana means they probably have maybe logic knot. Let's try to do the Urza. Let's go for the let's go for the like big turn. Big turn is if this guy resolves. What's like the two mana counter that they get with this? Remand. That sucks. Wow, that sucks. That just like ate my entire turn on a remand. It was the Banfield, yeah. We did play Banfield, and what we're actually we're gonna be playing another variant uh, right after this. Actually, um, that sucks. That was a really bad turn for me. Uh, we're gonna be playing a Sultai version of it. Um, so I did play that one. I do have the VOD ready to go up on YouTube. I didn't put it up yet. I wanted to give the Jeskai Fires League a little bit, but um, but yeah, we can uh, we can do that one, and then and then right after this, Alley Mind Tiki, not a chance, not a chance. I don't care if it's Tiki Day. That deck is 1,000% banned. Not a chance. Not a chance. Not touching that deck. Absolutely not. Full stop. No. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Don't care how long it's been. 
I said that deck is never happening again. Never. Literally never. Zero percent chance. Literally never. Bolt, bolt. God, I hate what the opponent's doing, dude. I should have tapped that for blue and then played Urza here, I guess. Now I'm just going to crack Witching Well on their turn. That's what I'm going to do. No. No. Tiki. Tiki, do not guilt me like that. That's awful. What? That is an awful thing to do. Do not do that. Awful. Awful. Bad Tiki. They just targeted Lightning Bolt? Interesting. Awful. No. Owling Mind? Absolutely not. Not. Nobody needs Owling Mind in their life. I, I promise you. I promise you. Pick a, pick a Pioneer deck you like. No, you don't, Team Darkwater. None of you like Owling Mine. No one likes Owl. Last time I played Owling Mine, we got, I kid you not, like three viewers. Like, it was a record low stream. It was as low as when I do Limited, which is like nobody. And look, we're doing Modern today. Lower numbers. We Pioneer, man. <laughs> People like Pioneer. I like Pioneer. Let's just play Pioneer, right? <laughs> Let's just let's just play Pioneer. Let's just play Pioneer. Let's just play Pioneer. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Alright, I have a lot of debates I can go for here. Big boy. I think I knew that was there. I think I, I think I was aware that was there. That makes me feel a little bit a fool. Tiki. No. No. Gotta put my foot down here. Say no. I wish my opponent would let me resolve things. You know, like anything. Do I resolve an Urza? <gasps> oh, stop. Oh, stop. You have another magmatic sinkhole. Oh, you are a magmatic sinkhole. Oh, my God. I couldn't because I passed priority. I already passed priority. I could have, but I already passed priority. Yeah. I, that's, that, when I went like this, that was me reading, wait, what can you pick up with this again? Oh, and now I can't, t I should have tapped this too. Oh, I messed that turn up. I, I should have passed this, tapped this. At least now I get to potentially name Royal Scions unless they have another counter spell. Yeah, those were those were big puns. So that turn could have been handled a little bit better. Okay. 
We got the Royal Scions locked down. They've got two cards in hand. We got a block here. For Sego. Howling Mine got a big tiki. <laughs> there is zero chance I am playing Owling Mine. There is zero chance I'm not playing that deck. There is a list of decks I won't play. It is a short list. That one is number one. Number one. Ad nauseum is pretty high up on that list because no one seems to uh, enjoy that. We want the owl. You do not want the owl. That is a lie. Ad nauseum is up there. That's another one. Limited counts as a deck. <laughs> These are, these are decks that I've played in the past that just get, like, tremendously bad feedback. We're just like, people are not into it. I'm just going to make a 2-2. Two -two. Play this out. I think I just send back, honestly. No, I guess I attack with this. I guess I could attack with both. I'm at nine. Let me, let me attack them with this. Maybe I'm supposed to hit them with a 4-4 here, though. And then I, I can make a 2-2 two -two to block, I guess, you know. Just hold all these in case I draw a Psy or something. Okay. Well, glad I held back the 4-4, four -four, I think, here. Oh, Team Darkwater. Targeting cryptic, okay. Bouncing that, drawing a card. Okay. Five dollar tip. Oh no, what does it say? You're all sadist and owling mine is bad. Thank you! Someone's on my side. <laughs> Thank you. Owling mine is perfectly summed up by someone asking. That being said, Owling Mine, I'll watch. No, you won't. You say you will, but you won't. I know you won't. No one will. I know. I know. No one will. No one will. It's awful. It's just awful. They bolted that, okay. I don't think their last card is another snap. I'm just gonna blow these up. I think I do it right now before giving them a chance to like pick it up with a Snapcaster Mage or something. What are you making a straw poll about? Owling my for Tiki's birthday. Yeah, sure. No way. Absolutely not. Ban Tiki. Perfect. I love that straw poll. So far, Ban Tiki is the thing we're making. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> dude, that's justice right there. Bantiki being the thing winning is uh, is really a thing of beauty. <laughs> Tiki, that that's not the case, dude. <laughs> that's not the case. That that isn't true. All right, got to worry about time a little bit here. And the Tiki has been banned. Ho! Ho! I don't even... Oh, whoa, cancel. I don't even know if I cast that yet. I guess I do. No, no, I guess I can chill. No, let's cast it. Oh, 
I'll cast it as a draw three. Make a Mark Mage's Charm. Sure, now they're not drawn cards. That's fine. I can still make another factory token. For once, I wasn't the one who did the ban. <laughs> For once, I wasn't the banner. Alright, so they found another Mystic Sanctuary. Holy crap. Resolved, huh? This is minus eight. Oh man, I could have gotten rid of this. He F six, dude. I could have gotten rid of this. One mana short of Urza's factorying. Nice, dude. We won that game. He countered like 200 spells, and then he just ran out of counter spells, so we killed him. Mystical disputes look great. Re Metallic rebukes look great. Oh, that was that was an awesome win. Awesome win. Okay, so what is what is bad here? Oh, you know what? Hardened Scales Affinity. That's actually a good one. I have, I don't I haven't played that yet in Pioneer. We can do that one, Tiki. We can do that one. All right. So what can what is like bad against this deck? That engineered explosives on the snaps was like super clutch. Yeah, that's a cool one too. It's a cool one too. But you're gonna have to run that by the Teeks. No, I don't want to take out the things that let me like rebuke. I guess. This card seems pretty good, even. Oh, man. The creatures are good, because they need, like, double bull. Maybe Mirrored and Besieged is kind of a meme. It is actually pretty hard for them to interact with. Making 1-1s one -one forever is pretty good against this deck. Keep their spell bombs good against Thing in the Ice. Do have to keep Thing in the Ice in consideration? problem is that was the easy one to win I trim a Karn they definitely weren't expecting gigantic Karn oh my god big B <laughs> did someone say did someone say Dirtle Mardu Where's your birthday Grixis stream? Didn't we play Grixis deck? Didn't I play like Grixis dragons? Pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I definitely played Grixis dragons on your birthday. Just saying. It's just fatty Karn. I just want. I'm just gonna 61 him, honestly. Uh, we should play Dirtle Mardu Nahiri deck. That if we can get concessions from just alting Nahiri without actually anything to get, dude, that's my kind of Nahiri. <laughs> that's my kind of Nahiri. This looks like a hand that's about to get slapped around. A couple of four drops that do nothing. Conserve the clock, because I'm concerned I'm about to lose this game. Wait, Lazy, what? What? What is that? Timed out! Timed out for that slander. That's how you get timed out. Boom. Spreading slander. Spreading slander, timed out. Can I get timed out? Hmm. 
But you have a perfect record, Blake. I don't know if I want to tarnish that perfect record. Actually, Lazy might have just had a perfect record. <laughs> now that I think about it. Uh. You've been timed out for a very long time. Oh, you've been timed out for a very long time. Big B, you have a perfect record as well. Alright, we are losing this game, unfortunately. I draw zero mana artifact here and go artifact, artifact, zero mana artifact, land, Urza. But I think we still lose to what's going on on the opponent's side of the table. That would have been good. All right, 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 all right. No more timing people out like crazy, all right? No more timing out people. That's surprising considering how many times I've Rick rolled you. Rick rolls don't get timeouts around here. That's my own fault. A Rick rolling is my own fault. All right, so let's just cast this Urza, have it get countered, and then we'll, we'll move on to the next game. There's no way I'm getting out of this one. There's too much pressure on me here. We'll, we'll try to start off on a faster foot the next game. Let's try it again. What about this? I don't know, Zale, is that a Rick roll? I'm not I'm not gonna fall for it. Trolls It's been a long time since I've heard that beautiful voice. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. I remember the first time I heard that song. Hmm. Fond memories. All right. Oh, I thought I had Tron. <laughs> you know, Urza's mine, power plant, factory. You assemble Tron. We're going to try to counter this stupid thing in the ice next turn. Bolus as your sub master. Time out yourself. <laughs> Do it. I can time out the bolus. I have the power. A classic Everose Channel song. True. That's true. That is true. We did play that a lot previously. Previously. A past life. Only I have that power, Gen Acid. <laughs> the number one gift leader. But not a sub themselves, a man of the people. Interesting. It's kind of crazy how often we've had um, Tron, considering we only have two of each. <laughs> you do, O Kings. Alt F four Everos O Kings made me ban you. Fair enough. I can kind of play the game the opponent's trying to play here. Kinda. Even though it's like on their turf, I can kinda play this game. Just try to, I need to maneuver to get this Urza in play. Double Dispute's pretty good though. <laughs> Jen. Well, there you go. O King's got your back. <laughs> There you go. Oh, big draw, big draw. Okay. 
Come on, go bigger. Go bigger. Yeah, cryptic me, dude. No force. 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 No. That's a force of negation, dude. Oh my god. It's the only thing I asked you not to do. It is the only thing I asked you not to do. Just give me another four mana threat off the top. Give me Karn. Give me, give me Urza. Look, I'll even take a sigh at this point. Oh, but give it to me soon. Jeez. I cannot beat Mystic Sanctuary. That card is busted. Busted. Another one. Oh. Oh. Ooh. 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 Sahil. I think I let this resolve. Because they could pay for this and then not have mana to flash the thing back. But I think I let them go to flash the thing back so it's gone for future ones. And then my two servos that I'm going to get here are going to block well enough, I think. And then this way, if they have like another counter spell in hand, they can't counter it. Unless it's another force, of course. A force, of course. A divorce horse, of course. Alright, we'll send back. My Nexus opponent kept playing around force. Zero. Ugh. Ugh. Apparently, I was supposed to name engineered explosives. Hey, what's up, Feldman? Uh, yesterday, I played Pioneer Tournament, went 3 1 and topped. Nice. Played an Asper Control List with Quicken, Verdict, Teferi, Jace, and of course, Elixir of Immortality. With four revelations. Rev for nine with Teferi's emblem. Jesus. Quicken, though. How'd you like Quicken? I've seen some decks, some people playing around with that in, in Esperlis, and I thought it was interesting. Blue, white, and Esperlis. That was kind of a cool idea. Alright, we need a big rip here. Big one. Huh. That is kind of a big one. This is non creature, right? Non creature. So I could cast that. What can I get? So that's going to give me a blocker. And then down tick, get what here? Liquid metal coating? They have two cards in hand. Down tick, get coating. Coating doesn't do anything against this. I could get something that does something against them. I could get, I could get, uh, honestly, ensnaring bridge, maybe. If I get ensnaring bridge... That actually looks kind of good against them right now. I know that's not normally what you get against control decks, but... It's something that's independent from Karn? Surviving? I wish I could play it right now, but I can't. Ooh, nice, O-Kings! That's sick, dude. Very nice, very nice. They've had some pretty intense uh, updates lately. Classic. Or, or old school, I mean. Easy block there. Okay, bridge looking really good. If I can make it resolve. Oh, that's such a good follow up to bridge. Their last card has to not be a counter spell here, though. They have one card. Is there anything I can do? Defense grid doesn't do it because I don't have enough mana. Can't. Oh, wait, I do. I do. I can go get defense grid. It's two mana. Makes things cost three more. Down ticket defense grid. 
if they if their last card's like cryptic or something, they can't do it now. Hot plays. Hot plays. Potentially hot plays. Yep. Yep. Last card's cryptic. Yep. <laughs> that it is. They're picking up snap. Countering. Not countering defense. Cryptic. What did they do? Draw, pick up snap. To then snap... Interesting. Okay. Okay. Tricky spots. Tricky spots. Send back. Then they'll have snap up. So they have to snap on their turn, though, because even snap starts costing more. This is going to get cryptic back. So they need to do things on their turn. <laughs> kind of. They could just send back here, but they could proactively use a cryptic, but that wouldn't do too much here, I don't think. Because they probably can't flip thing in the ice. Oh, this has been an interesting game. Cryptic and Snap are the two cards in hand. Really powerful hand from the opponent. Going for a Snapcaster here. Okay. To Serum? I don't think they're going to be able to flip this thing in the ice this turn, right? They're going for one blind draw off of Serum. They have to hit a one drop. If they're going for this, don't they Don't they just go... Well, no. I guess because they can go Cryptic Bounce Draw. Doesn't even kill me, though. Put a card on top. Because then they can cryptic, yeah, cryptic bounce draw to draw that card on top right now and then flip. But very unlikely to be able to do anything on my next turn here. Another snap to go for an opt. So if they left a one or two drop on top, now they can, but then in, they can flip, but then Ensnaring Bridge is still in play. By the way, uh, Engineered on two looks amazing here. I, oh, did I move an Engineered to the board? No, maybe I should have done that just so it's searchable. I also can't do it for two yet. I need a uh, I need a mock. Turn comes back. Okay, they can't cast anything on my turn here. <sighs> but how much can I actually punish them? Not all that much. Not all that much. Snow covered island and witching well, so we're gonna get a snow covered island here. Gonna uptick on Astrolabe so that they bounce that. Oh, they gave me witching well? Instead of snow covered island? Weird. Karn the Great Creator. No, I'm about to clock. Yeah, I'm about to clock and I'm about to die, so. Alright, I'll say go. I have to win this game. I only have four minutes left. So they can bounce and snaring bridge. Just sweep my walkers. Pick all their creatures back up. Get snapped back. Stomp my Karn. God, Stomp is like the most satisfying name they could have given this card. Now they probably attack my other Karn. They're probably, like... Oh, they're attacking my... Okay. That's fine. Plays another thing in the ice. Talent Rebuke and P.O. Oh, I should have done this first. The 
say go. Almost wear fleet, almost. Okay. God, this is a tricky game to wiggle around in. <laughs> this is a really tricky one. This is a bummer. Though maybe they. Did they show me three sanctuaries? Maybe they only run two? No, they run three. Okay, they run three. They're, they're putting it on top of their deck instead of snapping it because they have an opt, okay? Another opt. You enjoying the, the Marwa music? Yeah, it's, I think it's, it's technically Skyrim, but same thing. <laughs> Snap, opt. And then I think they kill me here. Yeah, they do. Um, well, that's unfortunate. I mean, they don't literally have me dead, but I'm, I'm dead. Uh, so we ended up 3-2. The deck felt pretty good. The Karn is obviously super weird to see in an Urza deck, but Urza ramps you so much that like Karn was actually uh, a key piece in us winning our Dredge matchup, which was something. Uh, we assembled Tron a reasonable amount of the time, considering we only had two of each land. Uh, so there's that. Uh, I don't know, man. Urza, Urza lore deck was uh, pretty decent. I think it's mainly because it's just like 90% the normal Urza Tron deck and then just like a couple of spice pieces. Mirror Nimbus Siege is actually like just a really cool Sahili Psy effect that's harder to interact with than either of those two. Like en Enchantment's easily one of the most difficult uh, types to interact with. Uh, we ended up 3-2, Volus. Ended up 3-2. Um... So, uh, yeah, it, it was a pretty interesting deck. Uh, it definitely felt like counter spells were a little bit of an issue. We, you did see we won that first game against them uh, because we just had more threats and they had counter spells. And they were playing one of the decks that had just, like, the absolute most counter spells in the format. So, um, as soon as one thing slipped through, they just couldn't answer it. And they had, they even had, uh, in their blue-red deck, double magmatic, uh, what is it called? Magmatic sinkhole? Um, to kill two resolved, I think it was a Psy and an Urza, um, which is not always necessarily going to be the case. Usually they have to spend a little bit of resources using two lightning bolts on them. So uh, Definitely an interesting league. Couldn't believe we beat Dredge 2-0. That was crazy. Um, I liked the sideboard. I uh, really liked the, the counterspell suite. I think that was really nice. Um, solid, solid Karn package. Uh, we almost had them there with that defense grid play of being like, now we just down to get defense grid. And I, I figured their last card was a counter spell and it made them have to act on it. But uh, unfortunately, they just had enough pressure and they had like almost infinite cryptic commands there. So it was going to be really hard to, to get there with um, with Staring Bridge locks. But it was close. You know, if they if they didn't have access to as many cryptic commands as they did, uh, Karn, Cyan of Urza, and Karn the Great Creator, they, they both would have taken over the game there. No, it's uh, it's three or it's two Mystic Disputes and three Metallic Rebukes, which we were able to do on turn one one time, which was really nice. Watch the video you posted. What is it? Is it appropriate? Is this appropriate? Eleven-year-old Sam just won free Chick Fil A for a year. Okay, watch it in one sec. Anyways, that is um. That is Urza. We're going to move on to our, our next deck.